So one important thing that we need to address is that when a, a you know, a, a piece of thing, uh, you know, burns like a wood or something, it burns on the outside, which means that the wood itself acts as a collision and the fire has to go around itself. Okay. And that's imperative. That's important to understand. Look at this example here. So the wood is burning here is a bonfire uh, image. Um, on this fire, although the wood is burning, the the fire itself has to respect the wood in terms of collision. So it needs to go around it sometimes, you know, uh, especially the ones at the bottom. So that's what I'm trying to address here, okay? So basically what I mean by that is um, we need this to act as a collision to our fire, okay? But if you put this entire thing as the collision, nothing is going to burn. So what am I going to do? about that right I'm gonna first of all copy this across right and I'm gonna disconnect it oh, by the way you can press alt and hold and click and drag you'll create a copy all right so that's how I did that all right good so now we have pretty much a similar collision box thing but we want to put in a reference all right so if I put in this reference here you can see this box basically represents this but we don't want that because then nothing will burn or at least most of it won't so we want to put in a transform here and make it slightly smaller okay so let's see if I put in a point nine yeah just slightly smaller uh, even nine five i suppose but this this is pretty good i think um i just want to create this collision around it all right so you can change it to 0.95 if you like i suppose uh, but what is important also to understand is that when i created this it was on the origin so any transformation i make will directly be towards the origin so for example if you were to have another transform up here and move this this way and now if you reduce it you see how it's moving towards this side now that's not very good so it's important to understand that right so okay I'm gonna leave it at 0.95 I suppose or you can you can you don't have to use this you can leave it at that and you can just reduce this um, however you want like this one can be 98 for example and this one can be 0.9 and this one can be 0.9 oops no no not 10.9 point okay so I think that gives us yeah something like that all right perfect okay so this is one of the reasons I created scatter because that is on the surface okay so now you know I don't know if you remember me saying that that it's important that I created surface points okay so I'm going to create a merge here and I'm going to connect that here as well so we have now both our ground plane and the collision object coming into play all right so that is good I'm going to click on this I'm going to go back to camera and then get rid of that template okay I'm going to run this and I'll come back to you okay so now we've got uh, the one with the collision on okay it doesn't look much different but uh, trust me it is going to make a huge difference um, at the end all right so that's what that is um, so I'm just gonna stop everything and let's move on okay it's time to bring in our little rubber toy okay um, so I'm gonna put in a rubber toy here and I'm gonna look at where it is I'm going to change the height to 2.5 and rotate it. Uh, no, I don't need to rotate it, I suppose. Uh, it's actually facing the camera, so it's all right. And I'm going to change the scale to 2. Yeah, everything else is fine, really. And I'm going to put in a... Um, I'm actually going to just use this one to animate it okay so for up to 24 let me just disable this one up to 24 frames 
um, it's going to stay where it is. I'm going to change this to 120. Oops, not 12, 120. Okay. And um, 48, I want you to move this way. Uh, maybe by two. Oops, no, by four. Okay. Okay. And at 72, I want you to move positive four. And then um, back to zero. Okay. So it's going to go like that. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it's all right, I guess. Okay. Okay, so that's that. <clears throat> I'm going to create a point wrangle. And I'm going to call this initialize temp, temperature. And I'm going to say at temperature is equal to 1. All right just initializing it because there was no temperature attribute now there is and then I'm gonna add in a trail node to generate uh, velocity so compute velocity here that's more than enough and then finally I'm gonna add VDB from polygons because these are polygons not particles so VDB from polygons okay and you can already tell it is there, but it's not as good. So I'm going to just drop this down by half. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uncheck distance VDB, or fog VDB. Um, I'm going to change this to collision because that's what we are looking for. So if I click on here, you can see it's collision, all right? And I'm going to add two attributes. One is velocity, which is point V. And I'm going to change this to displacement. And the next one is the temperature. Okay, point temperature. And this one, I'm going to call it collision velocity with capital V. Okay, and where does that come from? I told you this before. So that comes from here. So if you go into sourcing and hover your pointer over, it tells you what that is and this. And I told you that I did not respect these and I just call these ones main source as temperature fuel and velocity because if you look at temperature it says source temperature I did not respect that but I do respect the collisions okay all right so I'm going to call this collision capital T temperature uh, I think it looks good and finally I'm going to fill the interior so you can you can tell the difference now okay all right so I'm going to save it now, if you look at here, you've got collision, collision velocity, and collision temperature, okay? Important. And finally, the thing is, it, you cannot plug this in here because this is for short source shapes, okay? So you need to bring this across to this side. Let me want to move it here. I move it up here, and now I'm going to merge these two, okay? So I'm going to merge that one first and then this one second. I don't think it makes a huge difference, to be honest. But there it is. All right, good. Now, if I go back into cam, and if I just template our um, rubber toy, you can see that there. And I'm going to run a little flipbook, and I'll come back to you. Okay, it's uh, done it now, so let's uh, have a look. So you can see that it is uh, the fire is respecting our rubber toy, especially um, on this side here. Oops, what happened there? Give me a second. That's one, and that's forty-eight. Okay. So around this corner here, you could tell that it is respecting our collision object. Okay. All right. So perfect. That is definitely working. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to move on. So finally, I want to do a couple of things here, okay? So number one is um, in main, I want to change the sub-steps to four, okay? Because the the more the sub-steps are, the accurate the simulation is, of course, okay? But the longer it takes. And finally, I'm also going to put in division size of 0 0.02. Now, the thing is, I'm not sure if my computer can handle this, I think it did originally, uh, but I'm gonna check it out. But if else, there is um, an alternative way 
for this. Um, I figured out a thing on Discord community uh, where you can put in a, a massive box. Um, say, for example, uh, not that small, obviously. Like, yeah, like that. And I'm just going to make this bigger. Oops, bigger. And cam one, I'm going to just push this up. Is that look? Yeah, that looks pretty good. So basically covering that part, and I'm just gonna uh, extend this a little bit. All right, good. I think you can create an Axiom source here. Axiom source. And call this sync and invert the shape, okay? And that way, what it means is that it it basically acts as um, the um, volume box, or, or let's say the fluid box, okay, which you are used to in uh, your regular pyro solver or sparse pyro solvers, okay. Um, it cuts out anything that goes beyond this region. Let's check it out, okay. I want to just uh, uh, create a copy of this, and I want to make this smaller, okay. Uh, let's say. Let's say if I bring this down a lot further, okay, so that looks pretty good, I think. I just want to keep it this one, all right. And I'm going to connect it into here, and uh, I'm going to check how that goes. Okay, so it's done it now. Let's check it out. So there you go. You can see that it's the box is cutting out the uh, fire, okay? So, um, so this is, you know, basically a boundary box, okay? Okay, so you can use that if you like. Um, and obviously I changed um, the size back um, because it was just too big. This one is just too big. And I also reduced the uh, sub-steps and uh, division size to for faster simulation, but I'm gonna put them all back, all right? But this one, I'm just going to change this one to, let's say eight, and I'm gonna move this up by four. Oops, maybe not. 3.5. Okay, so that's that. I think uh, that's looking pretty good. Uh, you will not have uh, found this in the original file if you've already purchased it, um, by the way, and um, this will be available on um, Gumroad uh, to purchase as well, by the way. You know, you can support me by purchasing it if you like. So <clears throat> that's that. I will add this tutorial file to it. Uh, once I'm done with it, alright. So that's good. So finally, we are ready now to go and increase the sub steps and change the division size. Um, especially because now we have this, it should be alright, I think. I'm just going to increase this um, a little bit more. Oops, not 810, just 10. Um, let me move to front view. 4. 4.5, oops, no, 4.2. I don't want to cut out anything. Uh, I'm just going to change this to 15. Oh, never mind. Uh, 7, oops, wait. Sorry about that. Give me a second. That looks like it's cutting out even though it's underneath. Um, don't know why that is. <clears throat> uh, but 5.5, yeah, that's fine. All right, good. Um, yeah, that, that's uh, pretty good. Okay, so finally I got 12.5 and 4.5. That works best, okay? So I'm going to run this sim uh, for 120 frames, and I will come back um, by how I'm going to do that. I'm going to add in a file cache node here, and I'll say fire sim. Now, this one is going to be slightly different, right? So I'm just going to change this to sim. Um, hip name uh, slash... And I'm going to say $f.vdb, okay? That's what I'm going to export because I want VDB files, okay? So it's better. <clears throat> so I'm going to render this. Uh, sorry. I'm going to sim this out, and I'll come back. So hopefully it works.